Okay, so for this environment, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning on making the environment from three camera angles to work. Um, I will also make it work as a game environment, of course. But with this, I mean that outside of this plane, I will not really put any effort in there to make the environment be as high quality as this inside this plane. So that's just so you know. So what I want to do is, first of all, let's fill our, um, let's set this to white and let's set our red channel on. And let's just fill this so that we get this. With this, I um, actually forgot to change the tiling, so I will quickly do that. So I want to set this tiling to, let's say, so three more, which would be six, six, and which would also mean that the stones need to be eight by eight. Just apply. See, does that work? A little bit more. I set this 10 by 10. And this one 8 by 8, so everything multiplied by 2. Here we go, that seems to work. Of course you can see quite a bit of tiling, but don't worry, we will be getting rid of that. Let's have a look at the stones. The stones also seem seem all right. I actually want to make stones maybe, let's set these to 12 by 12. And let's just save our material, that will be fine. Here we go. So that works. Just fill everything again. Now what I want to do is I want to set, uh, kind of create the base of my scene. Which personally for me is always the hardest part I find. Um, because I always of course need to think of the best ways uh, from from the camera angle viewport, viewpoint to get the best result. Now luckily. Because this is a tutorial, I already made this environment, of course, to test everything out. And so I don't need to bother about it too much, which is also nice for you guys. Because, of course, you don't have to get bothered by me trying out different stuff all the time, just with placement. So let's get started. So I first want to create the main assets, in, or the main, yeah, the main assets that will be in my, in my game, or in my level. So if I go to the Infinity Blades folder, let's go to Environments. If I select Static Mesh, here are all the environments in the folder. This is actually, I can actually first go to Planes because I don't need that much stuff. And remember that floor that we used uh, like 10 minutes ago or something, which is this one. I just want to set this dead center sort of in my map, something like this. And I will build from here. So what I also want to do is I want to drag in some stairs, which are the plane floors blocked. And if I just press E and I hold con, that's weird. Sorry, uh, don't hold control. I was mixed up with 3ds Max. Um, so yeah, here we have snapping on. So we have snapping on 10. If you if you don't want snapping, just turn it off like we went over before. But with snapping on, I can just nicely place this on here. Like this. Now, for this, let's just, let's duplicate this one. Just by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. The good old duplicate. And let's place this one over here. And I also want to duplicate this one over here, so let's just rotate this here. There we go. And I want to have a an ang camera angle roughly around here to look at our nice monument. So from this side I actually want to drag in the um, block 2 broken, which will be just the stairs but broken. Which I could use nicely. Here we go. And it is a bit tricky. I think we actually need to move this one down a bit. Because some of these stones are also floating. Which means for these I also want to just create an extra step. 
over here so I can just let you move these down and that will just work looks like it yes that works okay so that's already our base platform on top of this I want to make some sort of a fountain kind of thing I decided so I can remember seeing a fountain in here so I'm just checking inside my folder I think this is a good one um, yes this is it oh I accidentally duplicated it twice uh, castle fountain 01 it's called now I just want to set this roughly in the center like this with that done let's have a look what else can we try out so does something like this work hmm it is a bit small so I'm not sure about that let's remove that for now So let's have a look. I believe I used ah uh, yeah, I believe I used this one last time. Yeah, that's the one. So I would just want to pick this one, just set it nicely around the fountain to create something like this. She will already have a nice effect. And I want to have some pillars. So I do actually I want to just quickly try out something because it does looks look interesting if you just scale this up move this back and move this down in here ah oh, no that looks a bit too much yeah that doesn't work never mind that say trying is good to get nicer results I encourage you I encourage you to also try stuff out let me drag the wrong one out can we do something with this maybe place this on here didn't do that last time but as I just said sometimes trying something out is nice so let's turn off scale snapping so that we can just scale freely over here Okay, that doesn't work. Let's just leave it. Let's just uh, focus on getting the things I do know that work, so I won't waste too much of your time. And that is that I want to have a pillar. It seems like that looks like a pillar to me. Yeah, that will work. So this pillar, let's just place it here, duplicate, place it here, select the two of them. And just duplicate them again and place them over here it works now let's have a look I want to have some statues so if I scroll up here we have a few statues so we have one with no base which is this one and we have this one looks like it just has a slightly different position so with these selected Let's pick one of them with no base. Let's just set them roughly on the pillar. And I want to have my view from here, so I want to have these looking this way. And I just want to scale this down until they actually fit on the pillar. So I'm not worrying too much about like optimization. Although these models are quite optimized because they were originally made for a game. So they have their LODs and everything, which is level of detail, which is basically for the people that don't know, if you get further away from the model, the model will be lower quality. Although you won't really notice it because of course you are further away. Anyway, let's duplicate this one. Let's just... Rotate this 180 degrees, place this on this pillar, duplicate it again, place it on this one, and for this one I just want to pick the one that is slightly different, like this, I want to rotate it, rotate it. scale it down, Let's see how big the scale is for this one, I'm just going to copy the scale, it's uniform so all three of the numbers are the same, and in here I can just simply 
paste that in the X, Y, and Z. And now it will be the exact same scale to keep things even. And I can just move this up and nicely place on the pillar like this. Here we go. So now you have some nice signs. So that works already. With that done, let's have a look. Let's see what else. So I want to have another structure somewhere around here, but I want to be able to move it around if needed. And that will be probably the final structure. So if our camera angle is, let's say, let's say our camera angle is roughly around here. Let's actually make one. So if you go to the position where you want your camera to be, after that, just click on this little down arrow and create camera here. And now we have a camera. And now if we go to perspective, here we have our camera actor. And then now we have our camera selected. Please do not forget, once you have your camera selected, you can still move around, but you will move around your actual camera. So don't forget if you want to do something and not uh, mo actually move around, just click this stop piloting this actor. And that will bring you back into the main viewport. So with the statue selected, I want to have a look at some different buildings. So let's see, what else, what can we do? Maybe we can have something with this thing over here. Maybe broken one, we'll have a look. I am not going to make this one the same as I did in my example or in my tryout. Because it's always nice to just variate it a bit. See, ooh, that is a bit big, so maybe scale it down a bit. Actually, I, I only want to use half of it. Now I look at it. Because, yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't, I don't really like the top, so I'm just going to use half of it. It will be covered with leaves and everything, so don't mind that it isn't that perfect on the ground anyway. We can even have stones coming up to it. So for this, let's just place it like this. It seems to work. Just want to duplicate this, and I want to rotate this 90 degrees. Oops, wrong button, sorry. And I just want to place this against here yeah so this is a bit of a weird shape but that's just a model but that but this works so with this let's have another look let's see if we can have some pillars in here those are way too big of course let's just scale this down and it's all about the angle, so we can change this later on based on the angle that we have to see if it works well. So I just want to place one pillar here. I want to place one pillar, say here. And now I want to have that little tree thing that we had before. This one. I think this one can work here. So let's just move it over here and scale it up a bit. make some sort of a entrance or something doesn't need to be that precise maybe we can ha ha close this gap over here with something maybe even like this thing over here we can like just place it there just throw it in there I guess you will barely be able to see it anyway but in the small chance that you just see it it will always be nice to have it there of course so i can remember there being some broken bridges something like this maybe a bit okay so something like this a broken bridge and if we just place it over here let's just see let's just throw it in here just scale it on the green one which is the uh, y-axis i believe yeah y-axis scale it over, scale it a bit more and as you can see from this view you can or from this view you can barely see um, any clipping or if there's anything wrong with it so with that done 
set on statues, which are always nice. So that's, they were here at the top. And I want to set the statue with a base in this case. Just want to scale this down, because else it wouldn't make that much sense. Set this all the way to the side, like this. Now I might actually want to place it on top of here. Nah, I'll just leave it like this. I think that will work fine. Set it over here and over here. There we go. Can we do something in here? Let's have a look. An arch. Nah, that doesn't work. Um, don't forget to sometimes save your scene. That would always be nice. Then just save select selected. Hmm. I think I will actually just leave it leave it like this. It will be fine. We have some straight walls here, so we can if we want have some walls that are the same size and like have them going behind this into here and just make them move a bit like this and maybe have like the curved wall like this make sure to keep the to copy the scale so it will have the same scale like this rotate it once more and here we go, here we have our curved wall that will nicely close down when we are sitting in our camera angle, like this. Okay, <coughs> sorry, I dropped something. Anyway, that's already a base, so it will look really, it looks really weird, of course. But don't worry, it will make a lot more sense later on. With this done, I think, um, I, think I want to start by placing some rocks. I think that's the way to go. So let's save our scene. And let's go into the kite demo. And actually before we do that, let's create some cameras. So we have this camera, which I want to be roughly around here, which will look fine. 